Hey everybody, I'm Elizabeth Hayharris bringing you another episode of Dreamcasters, where the movie scientists here at Hyper RPG give you our dream cast for upcoming movies. But for this episode, we're not talking cast, we're talking crew. Specifically, J.J. Abrams was recently confirmed as director of Star Wars Episode Nine. This is definitely a safe bet, and we totally understand the choice, but we do still have some dream director picks. I brought in fellow movie scientist Cameron Rice. Hey! For our top nine directors, we would have loved to see direct episode nine. Yo, everybody, Cameron here. I got a coat too. Number nine, Neil Blomkamp. Blomkamp has a knack for dirty, gritty sci-fi. Seeing his style come into the Star Wars universe would undoubtedly be a treat. While his most recent two features, Chappie and Elysium, were met with some criticism, Blomkamp's shorts coming out of his experimental testing grounds Oat Studio have garnered positive attention. Blomkamp is due for a feature length comeback and it would have been awesome to see him have a hand in the galaxy far, far away. Number eight, Duncan Jones. Moon shows us that Jones can clearly handle serious sci-fi. Warcraft shows us he can respect an existing mythology. Add in source code and it's clear he can also tackle a more audience friendly style of science fiction where Star Wars clearly lies. Number seven, Steven Spielberg. Spielberg's influence and connection to the original trilogy aside, he's proven many times over he's mastered the epic blockbuster film. Also, he was originally supposed to direct Return of the Jedi, so he's a good 40 years overdue. Number six, Joe Johnston. Johnston started off his career building the model special effects on the original trilogy. His work on the first Captain America movie shows he knows how to play with Disney and play well. Also, he did The Rocketeer. That movie is great. See it! Number five, Ryan Coogler. From Fruitvale Station to Creed, a film that both pushes and honors its past legacy to the upcoming Black Panther film, there are few directors more on fire today than Ryan Coogler. He's proven himself to be a go-to for young, interesting cast, which the new Star Wars has in droves. It's about time studios gave him the chance to branch out. We'd love to see his take on the ensemble Star Wars cast. Number four, Darren Aronofsky. We're all very well acquainted with the Star Wars universe by now. We know their worlds, their names, what they're fighting for. But what if we didn't? What if none of the characters had names? We had no idea where exactly they were or even what was going on. What if a long time ago in a galaxy far away wasn't a galaxy, but just a metaphor? We're only sort of teasing. It would at least be interesting to see Aronofsky's take. Number three, Denny Villeneuve. He's going to be busy prepping Dune, but that doesn't mean we wouldn't love to see what Villeneuve could do with another wide-spanning galactic universe. Also, Dune was a huge influence on Star Wars. Starting off in smaller, more intimate films like Prisoners and Sicario to big budget fare like Arrival, we have no doubt he could handle the Skywalker saga. Number two, Patty Jenkins. With Wonder Woman under her belt, it's obvious that Jenkins can direct a film driven by a female lead, supported by an ensemble cast. It'd be awesome to see Rey get the respect Jenkins could give her. And let's not forget her directing debut Monster, where she proves she can also tackle characters with a dark side. True, if she took on this, she couldn't do Wonder Woman too, but in our dream world, she does both. And number one, <laughs> Ava DuVernay. She consulted on Force Awakens, she just wrapped A Wrinkle in Time for Disney, and she's one of the most interesting filmmakers working today. Between her boundary-pushing documentaries to her groundbreaking work in fictional films, Ava DuVernay is our number one dream choice to direct Star Wars Episode Nine. So that does it for our list. What did you think? Who would you like to have seen? Are you excited for J.J. Abrams' return? Let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching Dreamcasters, and we'll see you next time with some more dreams.